Long story short, I saw this TikTok of a girl who designed her own custom laptop background and I wanted to do it too. And I'm gonna show you how I did it because it turned out pretty darn cute if I do say so myself. This is what my screensaver currently looks like at the moment. It is just one of those pre-saved images already in the MacBook but I'm going to create a customized one today and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing I do is I go to the Canva website. I really like Canva. It's a great tool to create social media graphics and promote events, which I do a lot for my school's club. They have a couple of different template sizes, whether it be for Instagram posts or Facebook messages. I'm going to go ahead and create my own custom size. It is 1440 by 900 pixels. That is for my specific laptop being a MacBook Pro 13 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and press create new design and it's gonna generate a blank canvas for me to work on. On the left, they have some templates to choose from if you wanna build on from one of them or just to find some sort of inspiration. You can type in different keywords to help you find a style that could work for you and what you're trying to do. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this and start from scratch. I start off by clicking on the background and using the color wheel to find my own background color. I mess around with the purple family for a bit, feeling some of that violet pride, I guess, but ultimately I end up with this maroonish purple pink color. By going to the elements tab, I'm able to look up a couple different image frames that I potentially would like to use because I know I definitely want to add in some pictures of my friends in my laptop background. You are able to upload your own media into Canva and import it right into your design. After I get the pictures arranged the way that I like, I want to go ahead and look through the different font options so I can write down what my semester schedule would be. I scroll through and find some that I like or some that just grab my interest and pull them down into a second page and then I write out spring 2022 just to see how it looks and I can decide which one I like best. After I finally pick one, I go ahead and start writing down my general weekly schedule which includes my classes, my club, and my internship. I edit the color of some of the text just to make it stand out a little bit more and resize. Next, I go over to the Elements tab and add a couple more different shapes to the background. Some are just for style and others I want as placeholders for where I eventually want to keep my desktop folders. I add a couple stills from my short film projects that I'm currently working on to help keep me motivated. There are a lot of different things that you can add to your own background, whether that be a calendar, outfit inspo, your movie watch list, you name it, as long as it fits your needs. It will work for you you just got to play around with it for a little bit and as you can see i mess around with a couple different elements but ultimately decide to go against it less is more i do add in a couple different graphic elements just to manifest good energy for me and for the rest of my school year similar to a vision board i'm not directly writing down my goals but the angel wings are symbolic of me wanting to move to los angeles after graduation speaking of i also added a grad hat so i can manifest good grades and success for my final school year once I am happy with my design, I go ahead and download it as a PNG file to my computer. To make it your desktop background, I just click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, and then I go to System Preferences, then choose Desktop slash Screensaver, and I open my Downloads folder and I choose Fill Screen with the image that I just uploaded. And then you should see it change automatically, and here's mine. Isn't it cute? To customize my desktop a little bit more, I'm going to add some desktop folders inside these square placeholders that I made. I'm naming them according to my spring schedule so I can keep all of my files more organized throughout the next couple of months. And I also go ahead and change the color of my highlight cursor by going back into system preferences and going to general and choosing a color from there. I go with purple. Next, I'm going to change the size of the folder so they fit a little bit better in the boxes that I made. I'm going to do this by selecting a folder, and in the top, I'm going to go to View, then I'm going to select Show View Options, and then I'm going to go and change the icon sizes to my liking. Finally, I'm going to show you how I change the colors of all my desktop folders. First of all, you're going to create a folder, you're going to right click on that folder and select Get Info. You're going to click on the blue folder icon, and then at the top of your screen, you're going to go to Edit, Copy, and then you're gonna open your preview app. Once you're in your preview app, you wanna to go to the top and go to file and open from clipboard. And you should see this screen pop up with all these folder images. I select the first page, press the markup tool and I go to adjust color. This will pop up and I will select tint and click on the folder once again. And then I'll adjust the levels to find a color that I like. You can mess around with it for a while until you find one that works for you or works for your theme. I did that for a long time. And just go ahead and play around with all the different cursors. Once you find a color that you like, then you'll go to the top again. You'll go to edit, select all, go back to edit, and then press copy. 
Then you want to go back to your original folder icon and go to edit and paste and it will change automatically. And that's it. This is my customized desktop screen. If you end up following this tutorial, feel free to tag me in yours on Instagram. I would love to see them and the link is in my bio. I told you it was cute. I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's gonna motivate me to not keep my desktop super cluttered with screenshots and documents and you know, actually put things in folders where they belong and also just not to have a million tabs open at all times so I can see the nice background that I've created. So I'm super excited for this. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.